I have a bird and a gun, and we're gonna kick some ass here, boy. Welcome back to Maximum Play, where I play games and you watch. Just like every other channel on YouTube now. Every fucking channel on YouTube is a Let's Play channel now, I don't get it. I remember back in the day, where it was just stand-up special. Where it was just literally stand-up. And fucking funny jokes. But apparently... People like watching other people play games because they can't afford them. I would rather play a new game. I, I, that's the thing. I see like all these gamers playing newer games that came out and I'm like, I'd rather play the game now. I'm just saying. Alright, Canary. Get your ass out here. You look like the Grief Clown from Eloise Cole. <laughs> Oh my god, it looks ugly. It. Wow. Where are you going? I should have got one of those controllers, by the way, that has rapid fire on it. Well, this is an unnecessary cutscene. You should have just shown her just flying around and then just appearing. I know what this is for though. You gotta race her next. It's not enough that you freed her, you gotta race her. Mm, whatever. It's just a joke. Why can't you be like your cousin Janice? your brain off. Just why can't you be like her? Just turn your brain off. Uh, I should go... I know there's more to do here. I only learned two moves here. I wonder if there's another one. I think there is another one. But I just haven't encountered it yet. Oh, I should go to the power station again. I just hate that this level has so many of those, like, entrance ways. It's so convoluted. Like I said, this is like the one of the worst levels ever. I don't like it at all. Oh, I should say some, like, rare games I played. I played a lot of them. <laughs> Um, I guess I'll tell you my thoughts on all of them while I'm doing some chores here. Um, Donkey Kong Country, the series, is great. The first, but the first Donkey Kong Country is so fucking difficult, especially when you get to the ice world. Um, Donkey Kong Country 2 was um, just as hard, but I like, I think I like that game's nature a little bit better. I enjoyed that a little bit of Donkey Kong Country 2. Donkey Kong Country 3 was fun, actually. I enjoyed it. Donkey Kong Country 3 was like a little bit of like a... Like a, uh, a sidestep, but I really enjoyed that game too. I think that's my... That's my... I don't know. I, I really liked it. I just played those two games recently because I didn't even know that they made sequels to those games. To be honest, I wasn't paying attention, but I'm like, okay, I gotta play these games now. And they're pretty damn good. Um, these are the ones I remember, so I can't remember every fucking rare game that came out. Like, some neckbearded hipster. Uh, I liked, uh, well, of course you know my feelings in Banjo-Kazooie. I think it's perfect in every way. Except for swimming around and the fucking rusty, rusty Bucket Bay. I think it's a piece of crap when it came to that. Um, I'm trying to remember. Sorry. Donkey Kong 64 was a, uh, a trip. Donkey Kong 64 was the point where Rare is like, we gotta make things bigger and better. But we weren't sure what to do. We have Nintendo's intellectual property now, and we can do something with this. Let's expand it. 
and wouldn't you know it, they did, and it's like fucking madhouse. Don't get me wrong, I love the look of the game, it looked great, but I think it could have been better. Like, all the shit you get into in the first world, you're like, I can't go there yet! It's a lot of that kind of crap, but it's kind of annoying. I'm gonna go to the mine world and free that kid, that, that mole thing now. Now that I have that move. Oh, also, I can get another Jiggy there while I'm at it too, because I have the Beak Buster move. You already know my thoughts on this game already. I'm playing it. <laughs> Uh, what else came out by Rare? Oh, Diddy Kong Racing. That game was hard as fuck, too. I, uh... I have a love-hate relationship with that game. I think it's fun. I think it's better than Mario Kart 64. Because there was, like, so much shit to do. Um, but I think... The fucking cam The campaign mode was awesome. It was a great idea that they added, too. But the boss fights are fucking bullshit. <laughs> Especially the dragon one. I never figured out how to beat that guy. He was stupid. Um. What was the other one? I'm trying to think of. There's probably more N64 games. I, I can think of one right now, but I'm trying to think of another one that came out for the N64 that was missing. <sighs> I am missing some. Well, never mind. I'll just look at my other one. Uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day. That one was a mixed bag for me, to be honest. And the reason why is because this is one of the first Rare games they made linear. Like, completely linear. You don't learn any moves. It's not a collectible kind of game. Like, you collect shit all the time. You don't do that. Here, it's a linear story that you just go through each level, and it's, and it's hilarious, first of all. I like the game. I like the game's story. I think it's fun funny. But... I think I have to do this a sock. There's like a couple jiggies I want to get in here anyway. That I'm missing. Yay, I freed him. He's so cute. Look at his little tail. But uh, then I have to go to the mining air mining world again and get the GD. Anyway, um there's another area I wanna go to. Let me just say, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day had some it was probably the best looking game on the N64, I think. Because they had dynamic lighting and like good character models. They had voice acting. A lot more voice acting than fucking uh, Star Fox 64. And that game had a lot of voice acting I never even considered. Um, columns vaults. Oh, I get it. I have to like smash these. So that the puzzle piece can go to each area. And I have to do it in a time limit. Oh my god. Oh, it's this way. Um, now the problems with ba uh, Conquer is that the controls are really finicky. I did not, and the camera was kind of weird to control. And the game got unnecessarily hard at parts, like the fucking World War II parody. The Saving Private Ryan parody. And then the final boss where you have to fight the alien from Aliens. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. At that point. I thought it was a slog to get through. There we go. Oh my... Get out of here. 
I gotta go back up and get my jiggy, boy. Anyways, that's all the games I remember by Rare. I'm sure there's plenty more that I'm forgetting, but I'll probably mention them at some point. Now I remember the other thing I have to do in here. I have to play soccer! Or football. I know, I know. <laughs> I have to play football. So next time on uh, Maximum Play, we're gonna play some football. Bye.